so um, I can't exactly say that I was expecting this to happen, but uh, earlier in the day we ended up getting an update to Black Ops 3. We ended up getting Black Ops 3 version 1.27 earlier in the day out of nowhere, and after a long spell of not having anything from Black Ops 3 and Treyarch, the last thing being one of the, I think, contracts for the community in which we could end up getting a 10 supply drop bundle, a melee weapon bribe, and then a ranged weapon bribe. It's been a while since that, but today we ended up getting this out of nowhere. Once again, that's the craziest part to me. So there's a lot to talk about, not necessarily in the way of things that came today, but there are two big things that did come today. We'll be touching on that in this video as well, but a lot of speculation is now starting as to what also is thrown in the mix here. So I won't lie, I'm really excited to break the mold here and talk about a Black Ops 3 update here for you guys. Love this game, love Treyarch, and having new stuff, well, it's always a grand old time, but let's just jump right into it because like I said, there is a lot to discuss here in this video. So firstly, we end up getting the patch notes tweeted out just once again, randomly by Treyarch, in which it takes you to the support.activision page to the latest Black Ops 3 update for PlayStation 4, in which we have two tiers, not the normal three tiers that we get for patch notes, including the global multiplayer and then zombie stuff, we end up getting global and then multiplayer only with three points in total, nothing outside of that that is given. So on the surface, it doesn't look like a lot. And especially when you consider that the global is just a general performance update. So the game will run better for whatever reasoning that it needed to be looked at to begin with. But in the multiplayer aspect, we end up having two things that are once again, not a lot on paper, but in the grand scheme of things are very cool that allow new content for players, but also are pretty big in their own right. So firstly, we have a new mode, that being infected. We We've been talking about Infected for a long, long time, and I'm surprised that we didn't get this added in sooner, but no less, we still have it right now. At the start of the match, one player is randomly chosen, for those of you guys that don't know what Infected is, in which their goal is to infect the other players. So it's essentially a free-for-all, and where your goal is just to survive. Now, in previous titles like Modern Warfare 3, Advanced Warfare, and Ghost, you ended up having some sort of streak you could go up and try and get. So you had the Moab, the Chem Strike, the DNA Bomb. That sort of stuff is not applicable here because Treyarch does not do those sort of streaks. They have the nuclear metal, but it doesn't reward you with anything that grants you upwards of 17 kills, depending on if you're the last survivor or not, like in previous titles. So that's something that, of course, is going to be withheld, but still, it is an incredibly fun mode, no less. But as of the time, as of recording this commentary, apparently it's not rolled out entirely, so it might be something that comes tomorrow, or it's something that still is in the process as of recording this rolling out to everybody. So check your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, your PC, after you update this see if it's live for you i hope it is because it's a lot of fun to play and i really can't wait to jump into black ops 3 with infected and i'm really looking forward to it now the next big change that was added in was actually a brand new map that being redwood snow in which it is the redwood that we know might not be your most favorite map in black ops 3 but it is something that is now snow capped for everything in the color of snow and a much colder atmosphere now I'm a little curious as to why this was done now because we're entering into spring at this point in time, but it also could play into the perspective of the frozen forest from the campaign and the whole marketing material here of that, maybe giving an underlying tone as to start into that more so push towards the different marketing of the next Call of Duty title, which we'll talk about in just a second. But that's something that again, this is a really cool redesign of this map. I think it is a lot of fun to play around with. It is going to be nice to see just how well it plays around. There's definitely gotta be some hidden secrets here in this because to me, almost three years later, you don't add in a brand new map like this completely reskinned and rethemed if there's not something hidden in there. So Easter egg hunters have at it. I'm definitely gonna be taking a look at this here all day, all night, trying to find some stuff for you guys that we can maybe decipher, pick out of the crowd and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a fun little hunt here. Hopefully there's something. Maybe we are looking way too far into it and maybe there's nothing at all. They just wanted to throw in something for a little bit of fun to change up the atmosphere, but Again, Treyarch usually like to go above and beyond and go a little bit deeper than that, so we'll see. But that said, that is the update that we ended up getting today for this, but again, what does this mean? Because this is such a random update to drop. So there's two big theories right now that the community is discussing as to why this was dropped right now, not necessarily a couple weeks back, why it wasn't dropped in a couple of weeks time, 
but there are two that really are prevailing theories that do make sense. The first of which being DLC weapons. It's been a long time since we ended up seeing drops of DLC content for Black Ops 3 and rightfully so. Warlord 2 ended up having their launch. It was a fantastic time to jump into a brand new game. Of course, it was plagued with some issues here and there, some bugs that really persisted and some that still could be ironed out. But right now, it is something in World War II has kind of gotten into that little valley in terms of when content is dropping. We're now after the most recent event, the Resistance event. We're in between DLC 1 and DLC 2, and right now, again, it's just kind of that flat period. There's not much to do. It's rather stale. So maybe Treyarch is just jumping back in and giving some players a little bit of incentive to play a game that they might have loved in its prime and also in year 2, now into year 3. So maybe that's something that is actually the case, but if it is, that might mean that we have new DLC weapons and it could be once again a reason why we ended up getting a community contract to get 10 rare supply drops in a bundle a melee weapon bribe and a ranged weapon bribe that could be all part of it and if that's the case we're probably gonna be seeing these weapons drop tomorrow or Thursday we end up seeing these updates added into black ops 3 or have seen them added in in the past about a day to a couple of days before these things end up going live and again if it's not something that if you watch this video and infected is not live as well it might be something that adds these in in conjunction with maybe making it live starting tomorrow. So while I have absolutely no idea, usually I'll feel really strongly about one of these ideas and such things like fully believing in DLC weapons coming. I actually don't know for the first time in a long time. It could happen, but it also could not. So keep your eyes peeled. That's something you definitely want to keep your eye on if you guys are interested in new DLC weapons, new content. There is a rumor going around that there's going to be an actual event tomorrow, plus two new weapons for Black Ops 3, a rifle, and then a new sniper on top of what we have now of Redwood and Infected being added in and then a camo also in supply drops as a limited time similar to what we saw with luck the irish blade valentine those sorts of things that's the rumor right now for new content in black ops 3 but again i don't know exactly how much this will be true if it's going to happen at all of course the only thing that kind of sucks is that they are hidden behind supply drops so i've never been a fan of that system hopefully guys have accumulated enough weapons and you guys have saved up enough ranged weapon bribes and all sorts of things that if there are new weapons that come it's a little bit better of a shot that you have to get it i think that i have maybe three ranged weapons that I don't have yet with a bribe and plus whatever maybe one or two that come tomorrow so maybe about a 20% chance of getting it right off the rip I'd be okay with that, but again, if you don't have all of them, it sucks that you don't have as much of a good chance to get those. So unfortunately, that's where we're at with that one, but hopefully, if they do come, you get them. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your endeavors in trying to get them. But that said, that leads us into the second idea in the community that this is all for 2018's Call of Duty title. We are right now in that weird period where it's once again the flat time between DLC 1 and DLC 2 for the current title. There's not all that much going on there's not much content dropping here and there but it is the time in which we start to see things ramp up for the teasers and the official announcements of the next title being developed by Treyarch coming later this year. If you guys remember back, the earliest that we end up seeing is the Black Ops 3 teaser trailer starting on April 9th, in which that was the official Black Ops 3 teaser. But again, that was April 9th, so still a month away at this point in time. We might see some things drop here and there because I can't recall if there was any like micro marketing done in various different games. I believe there was something for Black Ops 2 that was added in for a Snapchat teaser, but I can't recall if that was before or after that teaser launched for Black Ops 3, but regardless, we're still a little bit of time away, so it'd be interesting to see if they start doing it this early, but again, it might be something that if something comes to Black Ops 3, then we end up seeing this towards the latter end of when it's being implemented. We see something start to ramp up at the end of maybe an event in Black Ops 3. So there's a lot of things that we could play around here in our mind. Right now, it just seems all too early to really tell. So all we're doing right now is speculating on this, but nonetheless, that is, I think we're going to wrap this one up. I want to let you guys know about this because it is very cool. It has the potential. If that rumor does hold true that we end up getting an actual event for Black Ops 3, that'd be really cool because we haven't had anything like that in Black Ops 3. That sort of stuff came along with Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare and then World War II as well. Granted, Black Ops 3 was included in Days of Summer, but it didn't have its own sort of standalone thing where it was thematically changed around. But regardless, it'll be cool to see if this does in fact happen. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if there is anything more deeply rooted in this than what just meets the eye on the surface. So that said, want to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Firstly, what do you think of Redwood Snow? Do you think that's really cool? Do you think it's something that 
is kind of odd on the timing, no less, because again, in the Northern Hemisphere, it is now approaching springtime. Winter's rather close to being over, so kind of odd that this is in fact happening right now. Or do you think it might be something playing into the frozen forest mentality of Black Ops 3? Are you guys looking forward to Infected? I wanna hear all your thoughts because I'm really excited. Black Ops 3 is one of my favorite titles, if I'm totally honest, it might be an unpopular opinion, but I had a ton of fun with it and I think that you guys will enjoy this update if you guys enjoyed the game at all. So make sure you let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss anything regarding Black Ops 3, as strange as that sounds to say. World War II, Call of Duty 2018, whatever it may be, we'll keep you guys up to date with anything you need to know regarding Call of Duty content. So if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, try to get a little bit more active over there as well. So if you guys want to follow on that front, that link is as well in the description. But all that said, Natalie, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Jump on, check out Black Ops 3, this new update, almost three years later. I'm incredibly excited for this. I can't wait to see what we have in store going forward in the next few days. Hopefully you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Minus an espresso. Take care and peace.